G'day YouTube, here we have Rowan of Rin climbing up onto my veranda to have a biscuit. That's a bit scary. Yeah, that's my toe, Rowan. You can't eat my toe. Thank you for climbing back down. Kerry gets a biscuit. Rowan gets another one. Yes, good boy. Kerry, sorry, first little girl was Kim. That's Mrs. Whitetail. Now, people often ask why these kangaroos, wild animals, treat me as if they expect me to be friendly. I think it's got to do with Aboriginal traditional religion. For 40,000 years, every person had at least one animal species that was their totem. And although most people hunted that species, the totem never did, the totemic human. So I think there are five species that regard me as a totemic human and they come up and they talk to me and they expect me to be friendly. Kangaroos, swamp wallabies, yes, okay, there you go, you know. If I give them to you then they'll drop on the ground and you'll get to take it as well. No, she doesn't want it. Yeah, kangaroos and swamp wallabies and bowerbirds, satin bowerbirds, white wing chuffs and currawongs. They all treat me as a totemic human. And uh, they get introduced to the totemic human when they're young. Their parents and grandparents teach them that these are the safe ones and these are the safe places to talk to the totemic humans. Isn't that right? It's not that I'm Dr. Doolittle. I just speak a little bit of kangaroo, enough to understand what you're saying some of the time. Okay. You want another biggie? That's a boy. So there we go. That's the theory. I've become a totemic human for five species. You're welcome. Yes, and I'm different from the rest of the humans. But yeah, these animals are used to the idea that most people are deadly dangerous and some are really friendly. Australian native fauna takes part in Aboriginal tribal religion on a one-to-one -one personal basis. I think that's uh, something worth knowing and thinking about. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.